nothing is more fresh than something that's still alive. We're here in Woodside, Queens, where they actually serve one of the rarest Korean seafood specialties, live octopus, or sannakji. I've only had this in Korea, in Busan, so I'm very intrigued to see how they serve it here. And I'm gonna be joined by my friend and colleague, Stephanie Tudor, who writes for Eater New York. They seem to know what they're really doing with seafood here. Really good. This is excellent. When you go to Korea, when you go to the seaside markets, there are just tubs of live seafood. You know, it could be fish, it could be oysters, clams, octopus. Live octopus to me is like very much our way of saying, hey, like we have a super fresh thing. We're gonna have it in its prime and we're gonna respect it and we're gonna eat it with joy. Hell yes. Oh, whoa, it's so long. I've had live octopus before and I had it in Busan and uh, they really, they, they pre-chop it up for you. Maybe because they knew I was an amateur. This is really aggressive <laughs> because you're looking at like five, six inch long pieces. When you eat this, you have to chew it to completion. What so happens? Stops. Well, I mean, you're gonna, it'll just like on your way down, it'll get revenge on you. Look at that, it's got the jalapeno too. <laughs> Even though they do have a brain and they have a nervous system, the nervous system basically reacts and continues to, to fire despite being severed from the head. I'm gonna watch you go first. Because okay. you've never had this before. No, I haven't. Okay, small piece. I like don't know how much chewing is enough. Like you have me scared about it. I would just stop. And if you don't feel movement, I think you're good. Mm. It tastes as if I like dove into the ocean and got a s mouthful of ocean water. Thing about this dish, it's definitely a signature Korean dish. It is something you can find across the coastal areas. Um, like I had it in Busan, and when you get like a whole array of hue, which is like raw fish, this is part of the raw fish. Look at these tentacles. They, oh, <laughs> oh, I mean, I want to try. Holy it. shit, that feels so weird. Oh. Oh. It's like a little octi massage. I'm gonna get some sauce. Yeah, yeah, no, let's dip it, let's dip it. This is just pepper. sesame oil, salt, and pepper in here? Yeah, it's already tossed in a little bit of sesame oil. Ooh, this one's sticking to the roof of my mouth. Oh my God, he's on my cheek, like suctioning. Mine suctioned on my cheek. Yeah, mm -hmm. I loved it. It's kind of a cool feeling. It tastes exactly the same as it did as when I was in Korea. I think in Korea they put a little bit more soy and a little bit more sesame oil to give it a little more flavor. This one, you can kind of soak in the essence of the octopus. On its own, it's just like super briny, and that's great. But like I said, it's just like ocean water and adding that flavor element, I think helps. I think this is a, a great way to celebrate a beautiful creature. You know, I th what, what's the difference between this and, um, you know, having it grilled as a whole piece mm -hmm. and, you know, with a bunch of sides at a fancy, non-Korean restaurant. So that's just how Koreans like to enjoy fresh seafood. That's how we know it's fresh. And it's perfect. And there's no fishiness to it. Nope. It's, it's great. Oh, that is bountiful. Oh my God. Wow, oh wow, <laughs> it's gonna... Oh. Oh, I think that makes me feel a little uncomfortable. Does it? Why does it make you feel more uncomfortable than if you had just eaten it, if it was cooked? It's completely severed from the body. This, uh, this yeah, lobster yeah, yeah. is dead. It's dead, dead. it's dead. It's just the nervous system that's, mm -hmm. you know, reacting. This restaurant, Chikyek, actually is very, insistent that they serve it this way. They've gotten some pushback, but they do it because they're like, they wanna show you how good quality the lobster is. It's gonna actually deepen in flavor. That's why they actually serve it with the, the, the fire underneath so that the first couple sips are gonna have just a, a little touch of the seafood. And then as it reduces and it develops and you keep eating this shellfish and getting, and it goes down, it will be super intense by the end. Man, that broth is so good. It's clean, 
So you get the aromatics of the cabbage and the bean sprouts, and they're kind of tempered with super fresh seafood. This is like a broth I'd want to eat when I'm not feeling good. It's like it's just comforting. It's like Korean booyah base. Mm -hmm. You know, they take a lot of care with the presentation here to put it kind of back into the shell. Yeah, you know, that is a really good detail. I like that. Because they they know you're just going to gently pick at it and you don't want those lobster pieces to get... Overcooking. Yeah, lost into, to the, the lost into the broth. This does beg, though, for like a group of friends, some shots. So what is the uh, traditional Korean cheers? Kambae. Kambae? Yeah. Kambae. Look at this chunk of lobster. Gorgeous. Mm. Tender, it's sweet. It has like the light scent of the broth underneath it. Mm -hmm. But not overcooked. Oh, I gotta get some of this claw meat. Mm -hmm. That's heaven. I'm so not used to the Korean flavor profile with, with lobster like this. Like, you know, it's usually just butter and lemon. That gets tiring after a while. It gets while. tiring, mm -hmm. I agree, and so it's fun to... And instead you get this crazy hot sauce or this really sweet spicy sauce. It's fun, like you come here and it's like, it's so unpretentious, so easy going. I don't need to teach you how to do stuff. Like it's just kind of more fun to figure it out. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more of K-Town, click right here. That was like super professional. <laughs>